Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. It looks like Jarrell Miller is looking forward to a potential repeat performance getting up on Anthony Joshua's grill this weekend in New York. Miller and Joshua, they went face to face in July. That was at the DAZN USA launch. And at the time, I said I thought it was very staged, very choreographed. Miller was allowed to be just off shot, you know, allowed to be in close proximity to Joshua. And he was able to do his thing and get up in Joshua's face. So I actually think he'll be looking for a repeat performance because he got so much mileage out of that. And in this story here, you can see this boxing scene story. A number of curious statements of which I want to get into from Jarrell Miller some of them are just completely farcical and some of them you know he's actually got to shine the light back on himself because when he does that it doesn't look good and Jarrell Miller for me has had a terrible 2018 and really when you consider what he's done in his career which isn't a lot he was positioning himself nicely in 2017 and he's just completely plateaued he's tapered off he's actually been going backwards and losing some fans so this guy has got to be one of the most deluded men in the sport right now. He seems to think he's bigger than Ben-Hur, that he's actually an attraction in his own right. And recently, when he was in Kansas, they couldn't even sell the 3,800 tickets that were on sale. It was about 60-70% full. So, you know, Jarrell Miller, um, okay, well, before I tear any more strips off him, gonna get to these quotes, because some of it, it just, it's comedic value. It really is hilarious. Jarrell Big Baby Miller expects to once again come face to face with Anthony Joshua. Both heavyweights will be ringside at Madison Square Garden when Rocky Fielding defends the WBA regular super middleweight title against Canelo Alvarez. So Miller says, yes, I'll be in attendance. If it does, it does. But if he's going to the fight, then I think it will. We'll make a scene of it. Who knows? He's in my backyard. I'm not worried about AJ at all. Then further on, it talks about Miller likely fighting again in January, possibly in a bout with WBA interim champion Trevor Bright. Now, see, with all this sort of stuff, this is just tripe that's being pushed from the Miller camp, from Eddie Hearn as well. Don King is clearly not interested in that fight because they keep saying, pick up the phone, Don, and he's not. That's been very apparent that Trevor Bryan, well, he seems to want the fight, but his promoter is just not interested. He's not going to be doing Jarrell Miller or Eddie Hearn any favors. So, you know, Jarrell Miller might be fighting in January, but if it's going to be for the WBA interim title, it'll have to be ordered because I don't see it happening otherwise, unless they pay way over the odds. And where Jarrell Miller's profile is right now, is it actually worth paying over the odds for that? Uh, while Joshua is scheduled to defend his world's title at Wembley, da 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 da. Uh, if the winner of that fight fell through, that's talking about White and Chisora potentially being a front runner, Miller says he's not going to be used as a pawn. Now, nah, definitely not. I'm not going to be standby for anybody as a play toy. Let's be real here. If Miller was called up at about seven seconds notice to take a multi-million dollar payday with Anthony Joshua, he would be asking, where does he sign up? How high does he have to jump? What hoops does he have to go through? So he's talking complete dross there. I've been fighting for a long time. I want my due. I want my respect. I want a proper training camp so it can't be last minute and it's going to make sense. He fights the big baby and that kind of name that I bring. And the noise that I bring, it's going to cause a sold out arena. Well, failed to sell out 3,800 seats recently in Kansas. Didn't actually really get that close. About 70% full. It's not going to be Miller as the draw there. He's not going to be the one selling the tickets. For AJ, it's a must do or die. He's been world champion for over a year now. And he has said he wants to fight in America. And then he changes his mind. He's not really trying to take any crazy risks right now. Okay, I'm going to step in there before I get to the final sentence. Joshua, he's actually been champion for about two and a half years now. He's defended his title quite a number of times. 
And in terms of not taking any crazy risks, well, I mean, you just have to look at the actual resume to go that his resume stacks up well against anyone in the division. He's unified twice. He's also taken on some other top contenders, Pavetkin, Takam, a number of other guys. He's beaten Klitschko, Parker. Uh, there was Eric Molina there. That was a late standard opponent. Other names before that, Dominic Brazil as well. So in terms of not taking any crazy risks, well, those are some of the best contenders in the division. And he's, as Deontay Wilder says, begging for a fight with Wilder right now. So that would seem to be a crazy risk. And he wants to fight Tyson Fury if Wilder won't take that fight. But Wilder and Fury, they look like they will be off fighting each other. But in terms of this other bit, he is going to have to defend his belt somewhere else at some point overseas. Because, uh, you know, that's something that they had been talking about, you know, quite some time ago. But then for the moment, Anthony Joshua said, actually, he wants to continue campaigning in the UK. And that's why there has been a bit of a leverage from some. And, you know, Lennox Lewis has certainly been a vocal critic saying, look, you need to go travel. You need to actually go defend the belt somewhere. You're a world champion. That's on you to do that. And Joshua says he does want to do that, but just not yet. But he is going to do that. That is in his plans. And the first place that he's likely to go is America. And the likely first opponent, well, it's possibly Jarrell Miller. But in terms of not taking any crazy risks, well, that seems to be a bit of farcical, especially when you contrast it against Jarrell Miller's uh, 2018 resume, a very disappointing year. He's taking on lightly regarded prospects Bogdan Dinu, faded and rinsed 41-year-old Thomas Adamek in a complete mismatch, and a fading Johan Dorper, and that was only competitive for six rounds before Dorper faded badly. Jarrell Miller is inching ever so close to a world title, but in the meantime, he's taking zero risk because he wants to get to a world title, and it doesn't matter if it's a secondary world title, and that's what he's targeting, the WBA regular title, or a WBA secondary belt of some description, possibly the interim belt with Trevor Bryan. But like I said, I just don't see that happening. If Don King hasn't been picking up the phone, he's only going to answer that call if it's for millions and millions. And are they really going to overpay Trevor Bryan for that? Who knows? I wouldn't have thought so. And if we go back to Miller... I get it, but you can't be called world champion forever if you're not fighting around the world, and America, of course. And there is a grain of truth there that a world champion, you know, should travel at some point in, in their career, especially if they're a long reigning champion. Um, but I guess, you know, we can just look at the current champions, Joshua and Wilder, neither have traveled in their championship reign. So that is there for both of them to do if they can actually do that. But, you know, for Miller to sort of say to Joshua, to call him out and say, you have to travel. Well, Miller actually needs to turn the spotlight on himself for that one as well, because he has been reticent and reluctant to travel full stop. About a year or so ago, he effectively said he just wanted to fight in his backyard. He was comfortable there and that's what he wanted. And that was the direction he wanted his career to go in. And we know he didn't want to go to Bulgaria. He's saying he didn't duck Kubrat Pulev earlier this year when he turned down the IBF final eliminator. He said he turned down Bulgaria. So it's a bit rich for a guy like Jarrell Miller to pot shot someone for not traveling when he's shown no willingness to do that himself. And until recently, you know, he didn't want to travel. He softened his stance in recent months, but I suspect that's because uh, he's been told to. Now that he's on board with Eddie Hearn, Eddie Hearn will have designs potentially of Jarrell Miller fighting abroad. You know, there, there potentially will be some fights there for him. They could be big money fights. We'll have to see. But Jarrell Miller is not just going to be campaigning in New York or the United States. He's going to have to travel at some point himself. So he has changed his tune on this. But until now, he has not fought outside the United States. But yes, yeah, certainly... Jarrell Miller, if he can get in front of Anthony Joshua at the weekend, he will. And in the last, what, six or eight weeks or three months, I mean, Jarrell Miller's kind of been, even though he had that show in Kansas, not many people were that interested. The opponent wasn't that interesting. He fought in October against Adamek. No one was really that interested. It wasn't that interesting. He dispatched them, both guys, as we thought he would. And his profile's really been going nowhere. 
So he's guarding this O with his life so we can get a title shot, so we can get well paid. But, you know, he's talking like he is already a world champion and he hasn't been acting like one, that's for sure. But he will try to get some more free publicity from Anthony Joshua, no doubt, because a lot of these fighters do. Because Joshua, if you connect your name with his, you can get some free headlines, good for your profile. And that thing back in July, very stage managed for me. It really, you know, Miller was dining out on that. And he got a lot of press and it really boosted his image for a time. So, of course, rinse and repeat, look to do it again. Drop a comment, loud and often. Hit like, hit subscribe, follow me on Twitter. Boxing underscore squared. I'm out.